as of right now, what I've been working on is um, receiving referrals directly from patrol um, who are responding in the immediate situations. Um, and then following up with aftercare um, and determining what needs um, need um, following up with. If I can just comment to what you had just asked. We right. actually just walked down the street. Right. I think when you were getting out of your car, you saw us walking down uh, to person to person. They were having an incident with a person that we've identified in our community as in need. So that was a call that was actively coming in over the air and we assisted the officers and were able to bring that to a successful closure. Um, but right now if we walk around this building and we watch we ask the detective bureau or combined dispatch or any of the other divisions if they know of individuals in our community that they have already been identified and need services there's already a long list uh and i think i said before in the 17 days that alex has been working with us we've already received a ton of referrals and have already reached out to about 25 um and our setting them up with services or doing aftercare. So it's, it's been very busy, to say the least. All right. Well, getting back to handling these um, emergency calls, mm -hmm. um, an issue that's been going on since as, as long as I can remember covering the police department is that um, emotionally disturbed people are taken up to the hospital. Maybe they spend a couple of hours there, and then the officers encounter them back out on the street before the day ends. Um, so are you uh, bringing access to resources that the officers to date have not had in the past? I can comment on that, too, if you don't mind, unless did you? No, go ahead. So I think a big part of our catchment, I don't know if you, is that better? A big part of our catchment is not only responding to what you're calling EDP or emotionally disturbed persons, right. but even more critically is when there is a sexual assault or a critical car accident or somebody has died by suicide, there's family members that are impacted by trauma. Those people who are impacted by trauma do lose the resilience that they have 10 years from now, 15 years from now, to cope with difficult situations. So by us responding and connecting to pe people with resources prior to them having any significant downward spiral, we're hoping to slow down that type of um, action within our community. As to people that are currently struggling, yes, there are some bridges that they just haven't been connected. People didn't realize that a resource has already happened. We have community care teams that we can, um, there's more beds that we knew about that might be an option. So uh, all in all, we, ha we do have a difficulty with trying to find a place for everybody, particularly winter's coming. And we're trying to house everybody, but Connecticut has done a wonderful job, and particularly Norwalk, in getting people off the streets very quickly. So that's probably one of our major focuses right now. But to answer your question in a short way, yes, we're connecting those bridges to help those people who are in crisis and not keep being kept anywhere. Um, okay, so, but I'm still not following. Okay, which so, so, I think I can address so your question. So we have an EDP call. Are we no longer taking that person in all the hospital? So essentially, yes. They, we are still using the hospital as a resource. Okay. However, um, I think in what's a great, uh, what's great about having a clinician right here in the police department is that instead of having officers do that follow up, where they consistently might have to cycle through. Um, bringing that person to the ER again and again, I can do follow-up with the hospital directly and mm -hmm. say, hey, we brought this person in. Um, what are the resources that they're being connected with? So they're not just getting discharged and immediately brought back. What can I do to help make sure they're getting connected with resources outpatient-wise? And that's where my role is. 